Welcome back to the Smash with Ash show. Welcome new subscribers. I'm Ashley and today I will be making a yummy stuffed mozzarella cheesy meatball sub and it's gonna have garlic noodles on it and it's gonna be so good. So stay tuned but before we get started you know I have a word today and the word is John 12 verse 35. The man who walks in the dark does not know where he is going. Put your trust in the light while you have it so that you may become sons of light. Basically, it's saying be careful who you're in a relationship with and who you're friends with. Because if they are walking in darkness and in sin, they are being led by the world. And Jesus says, be apart from this world. When you are being led by somebody in a relationship that walks in the dark, trust and believe that you too are going to be next walking in the dark right with them. When the blind lead the blind, they both fall into a pit. So build better discernment of who and what you'll allow in your circle so you do not fall into darkness with someone. Well, with that being said, we're going to go ahead and get started on our meaty ball sandwich. So stay tuned. So we're going to start off with our prep and I used one medium onion and diced that. Next, I used one medium green pepper and diced that up along with 12 cloves of minced garlic. Then I chopped some parsley and some fresh herbs, which was oregano, thyme, and basil. Then I shredded some Parmesan Reggiano cheese. After measuring the ingredients for your meatballs, you're going to combine in a bowl one pound of hamburger, one pound of sausage, half a cup of onions, minced garlic, Parmesan cheese, one cup of Italian breadcrumbs, milk, one egg, season with garlic salt, Montreal seasoning, Worcestershire sour sauce, seasoned pepper, onion powder, some minced parsley, and combine together. Next, I used a block of mozzarella cheese and I just diced it up and cubed it in little squares, just like this. Then you're going to form your meatballs and put those together. Next, add your little cube of mozzarella cheese in the middle of it. And once you put your cheese in the middle of all of them, you're going to form your meat around it. So you made your stuffed meatball. In a pan on medium high heat, you're gonna sear your meatballs just until they're nice and a little browned. So don't cook them all the way, just sear them because you're gonna finish them off cooking in your sauce. After prepping all the ingredients for your sauce, you're gonna saute your green peppers, your onions, garlic, garlic parmesan basil butter, I used one tablespoon of that, and then one huge 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes and with a little bit of water. Then I seasoned it with garlic salt, onion powder, one tablespoon of sugar, then our fresh blend of herbs with five fresh basil leaves. And then put your meaty balls back in your pan. Then you're gonna cover and let it simmer for 35 minutes or until the meatballs are done and temp to 155. For our garlic noodles, you're gonna boil the spaghetti as directed on the package. Then in a skillet on medium high heat, you're going to add six tablespoons of oil, a tablespoon of butter, your 12 cloves of garlic, your pepper flakes, and allow that to saute for like three minutes. Then add a cup and a half of white wine. Let that cook down. Once it's cooked down, you're gonna add your noodles back to the pan, stir it around and season it with garlic salt and squeeze a lemon, a half a lemon in there with some parsley and throw some Parmesan cheese in it and it's all ready to go. Then I cut up Italian loaf of bread and put some Havarti cheese on it. You can use provolone if you want, whichever, but I put it on broil until it looked nice and melted and golden brown like this. Then assemble your sub sandwich with your garlic noodles and your meaty balls and then pour that yummy marinara sauce on there just like this. And if you like it extra saucy, go ahead and pour a little bit on the side and then top it off with parsley and Parmesan cheese and oh, it looks good and ready to go. We're 
ready to try our meatball sub. Technically, it's a spaghetti meatball sub. <laughs> oh, that looks good. Mm. That's really good. Mm -hmm. And if you don't want to make it into a sub, you could make it into spaghetti and meatballs. <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you try the recipe out. Don't forget to hit that like, share, and subscribe button. Stay tuned for more videos because your girl will be back soon.